Yo, what's going on guys? Dr. Schwartz here. Today I'm going to master escape tutorial on the mist. This is the final hive in operation four. I'm going to get right into it. Uh, the mutators are shown there. We've got freezing grenadiers and we've got reflective shell signs, which is previously on the ambush hive. The characters we're going to be bringing are Keegan, Kate, and Foz. And as usual, the card setups will be in the video comment section when that goes live. Um, you could also bring in a meal, because uh, there's a lot of sires, melee character will be useful, Lonnie as well, and even Paddock. Um, at the beginning there are three chainsaws, lancers that you can bring uh, that spawn in. Um, in this first room here, there's going to be sometimes a cog tag, but almost always a drop shot that's in the same spot up top. There's going to be three large ammo boxes, a long shot, and a mark saw for Foz or whoever the sniper class that you're going to be bringing. All right, coming up, we're going to open this door. You're going to have two spawns. You're either going to have uh, Grenadiers and Elite Hunters that spawn with Shock Poppers, or you're going to have Elite Grenadiers um, and Elite Snipers that spawn with Incendiary Poppers. Um, the spawn that we get here, as you can see, we've got Grenadiers. Um, as Keegan, you want to mark everything. We are doing a score run. Uh, really, one of us has the scorecard to not just to just to test it out right here um, so I'm gonna grab the drop shot obviously uh, Keegan's a bleed character so plus a bleed getting that nice shot right there uh, poppers will spawn uh, once you pass this threshold of this door right here um, the poppers will spawn and then the rest of the drones will spawn as well Alright, just getting rid of them with the snow pistol here. Still got some poppers left before we move forward. Um, in this little hut down here in this room, there's going to be sometimes a frag somewhere in this area, either up here or below. Um, since we had elite hunters, I'm going to be picking up the torque bow. Uh, Foz or Kate can carry one. And uh, then we had the regular grenadier spawn, so Kate with the Nasher uh, is going to use that. For the bleed, if we had the other spawn, we would have had elite grenadiers, and Kate would have picked up the overkill instead. Uh, what we're going to do down here is we're going to close this door, uh, and then go up the stairs, and then go around. Um, you could either go out that door and fight the enemies in the next section, or you could close this door, go up this ramp here, and um, around the bridge, and then have Foss snipe the scions and whatever's coming. Uh, that way, uh, just want to make. There's a lot of figure eight loops on this map, so you want to make sure whatever path you take, that if there's a door, or they can come around, you want to close that door. Make sure that they don't flank you. All right, coming down here, we're gonna have sires, um, a bunch of sires. You're gonna have uh, uh, grenadiers. Uh, if you had grenadiers earlier, you have more grenadiers here, and then you'll have two ice scions, which is what Foz is gonna pick off. Um, coming up top on the bridge, we get sniped. Uh, the elite hunter, but that's okay. We're gonna crawl back. Gotta be careful about the grenadier. They are freezing grenadiers, so um, Foz is gonna get rid of that with the marksa. Very nice. And we're gonna get up. Here, Kate. Kate's got a lancer chainsaw. Very useful for get, getting rid of the sires and also giving her stim. All right, we're gonna slowly move forward here. Uh, there's still another ice sign here. Drop shot. Get the bleed damage. Um, this shot, this hive has reflective shell scions, so when you do heavy damage to a scion, make sure that you're careful not to shoot it again immediately, because any damage that you do after that could be reflected back to you. So you want to be careful uh, after you drop shot it or boom shot it or do some crazy bleed damage to it to back off for a second, otherwise if you reflect that bolt damage back to you, that can easily down you or kill you, so just be wary of that and cautious of that uh, when you're playing this hive. Coming up, there's a freezing grenadier right there, put it a little close, freezes you a little bit, get some torque ball damage on him. Um, this hive has lots of sires, there's a mutator for it where, uh, called strength in numbers, which increases the amount of sires but lowers the health of each individual one. But again, the three Lancers in the beginning, uh, you can have Kate pick it up and she can deal with all those. 
Uh, I'm trying to get a frag up here to kill this hunter that's bothering us. <laughs> I think it's it's sniped. All right. There's a fork in the road here. Uh, another sire we're gonna deal with. The left side's got little uh, ladder room and ammo room. I'm gonna resupply my ammo here. Uh, I do have resupply duration, and the reason I have that card on um, is for some reason it doesn't reload long shot and sniper ammo and shotgun ammo as quickly as other weapons so I had the longer duration to make up for it um, we could either go up this mining staircase to our right which is gonna have a bunch of poppers whatever poppers you pulled for earlier shock poppers if you had shock poppers earlier or incendiary poppers if you had those earlier and then some sires um, also can have elite drones up top they're gonna meet you but if you go the other way there is a door that you can shut which will prevent the sires from coming around the map and uh, flanking you but you'll see in a second here there will be some behind us that we will deal with coming up here uh, on the staircase there's explosive ammo regular ammo and a try shot as well uh, for anyone that may benefit with that Clayton if you bring one uh, coming up here into this final room before the safe room. It's a big fight here. You're going to have pretty much all the enemies you've seen earlier. Lots of elite hunters. Uh, there's going to be two. Lots of sires. There's going to be two scions. Um, whatever scions you pulled earlier. So if you had ice scions in the room before, there's going to be two of those. And two or two drop shot scions, depending on the small that you pulled. Um... As Keegan and Foz, we're just going to pick off everything we can from up top here. You do want to be quick here. The Venom comes up on you real fast. So just be careful. As you can see right there, did some Torpo hit to that Ice Scion. And it did reflect damage, so you want to be careful not to shoot him again quickly. I get frozen, and I get a little scared here. <laughs> Throw some frags, use my ultimate, um, just as a panic right there. Um, I thought I was running healing module, but I didn't, and I got lucky a little bit here. Um, I'm going to go down, but that's okay. I'm going to get revived, and I'm just going to bolt to the safe room. A lot of enemies right in this section, and behind us, um, sires tend to spawn as well as pairs of poppers that like to rush you and that is pretty much the first half see you all in the safe room all right in the safe room there's going to be three large ammo crates um, two lancers and two nashers so nothing really for keegan or myself here it's just going to be ammo for kate and Foz to fill up their nasher and their long shot uh, slash m bar ammo so Thanks to the Coalition, we have a long waiting screen <laughs> uh, in the weight room, uh, in the in the safe room here. Um, basically, what we're going to do in the second half here is Foz is running Critical Parade, and he has his ultimate ready. So what we're going to do is we're not going to go out the door. We're going to let him snipe uh, and headshot all the elites. Uh, elite drones, hunters, grenadiers, whatever swans out there. Uh, so you can clear out that hallway and uh, then we can kill whatever we have to kill after that. It just makes it easier uh, to progress through the hive here. So we're just going to wait and see what we get here. Looks like we got some elite snipers and elite grenadiers. Uh, preferably that's the better spawn because when you have elite snipers, you're going to have the warden that falls and then you'll have the carrier at the end. And since I'm running Keegan, the, the carrier spawns with Salvo Scions that precede it. Um, the alternative spawn you could have is you could have Elite Hunters here. Um, they have Drop Shot Scions that spawn with them. Uh, spawn with a pair of two Drop Shot Scions. And then there's a Matriarch at the end that you have to deal with. Preferably the better, we get the better spawn in my opinion. Um, the Warden Mace can be useful if you bring in a meal or a Lonnie or melee character, but we didn't bring one. Um... Anyway, I am going to go down there. There's an explosive crate right there underneath this little uh, ramp platform. And then there is also 
Sometimes there's an elite drone or hunter down there so you can execute them. And then there is a boom shot that I pick up as well. So there's the warden. Um, also, I want to remind you that this wardens do count as scions in escape. Um, so the reflective shell scion mutator applies to the warden as well. So when you do a lot of damage to it, make sure to stop shooting it for a second and make sure you don't shoot it at it when the shield goes all blue because um, all that damage will go back to you. All the bleed damage you did to the warden when you shoot it with the shell on will go back to you. All right, we get rid of the warning. Um, we're going to go in this ammo room here, this cog tag here, whoever's running the scorecards. I think Kate is running it. He's going to pick him up. Um, there's a Lancer GL here for Keegan. Um, very useful to kill the Salvo Scions coming up. And then I'm going to use the Salvo Scion Salvos to use that to kill the carrier. I'm going to trade out my Torque Bow for that and then pick up the explosive crates in here. Some sires are going to rush us. There's explosive crates, like a few explosive crates in there, and there's also some regular ammo um, crates for Kate's Nasher and Overkill or Foz's um, sniper ammo. Coming up here, um, in this large room here, we're going to have uh, an array of enemies here. We're going to have elite drones, um, some elite snipers, learned years as well. Um, and then we're going to have incendiary poppers, uh, just like in the room prior. So whatever poppers you had prior, you're going to have at the end of the chapter as well. Um, in this section, you want to be careful um, not to get flanked by the left spawn here. Sometimes poppers like to go around here. We're going to gears. You see the salvo sign, we marked it. Trying to get some damage on it. I see... This is what I was talking about earlier, is you want to be careful with your shots there. I, I shot the GL, but he turned his reflective shield on, which reverted the bleed damage back to yourself. Just make sure you're careful about that. Uh, Grenadiers kind of push us. I kind of fall back because I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, we've got some shock poppers coming up here. Get out of my face. There we go. Get rid of it with the M bar. Very nice. All right, get rid of that salvo sign there. I think both of them are dead. Nope, there's still another one. It's blue. Don't shoot at it. And then you want to wait. Then shoot at it. And then get rid of it with the bleed damage. But now the salvo signs are gone. Uh, we're just going to clean up whatever is left. There's sires. Always sires. Plenty of sires on this map. Kind of reminds me of Hunters 2.0. Um, old Op 1 Hive. Actually, first hive that was ever released. Um... I planted a nade there just in case for some reason if a sire ever spawned behind us or one that did spawn late and never aggro would come behind us. They're going to use my resupply here. I always put a duration on this map. The reason is if we run a Kate or a Foz, which are running here, um, for some reason Keegan's resupply doesn't resupply uh, like long shot or shotgun ammo as quickly as other ballistic weapons or explosive weapons. So I bring the duration to make up for that. Uh, anyway, uh, moving forward here, uh, we've got I killed the two salvo signs. So the salvos I'm going to pick up. I think one of my teammates picks up the other one. Um, we got a sire here. It gets bodied. See you later. Uh, I'm going to move forward here. They're on the left, past these the train car thing here. There's another ammo room, ladder, staircase room, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's another cog tag in there. There's some ammo, explosive crates, uh, regular ammo as well that we're going to go pick up. Now there's two options here. You can either split up um, and have someone go up top and kill the, the drones or whatever is up there. Um, or you could close that door and just fight what's down here, which is what we do. Um, closing the door also helps prevent you from being flanked um, from enemies coming from the helipad up the bridge across. So, uh, once you pass, like, this, uh, this wall in front of me, the carrier and all the enemies at the helipad will spawn, uh, as shown here. Uh, if you had the matriarch spawn, um, I think it's already spawned in once you load the second act, so it's already going to start running at you prior to you even being here. Um, the carrier is going to spawn, uh, with a bunch of, uh, elite drones and, uh, elite 
Grenadiers as well as any sires that are remaining on the helipad as well. Uh, you want to be careful once you push up this far, sometimes the pair of sires come behind you. And then as I notice that, when I'm trying to get my ammo here... Uh, yep, there they are. Hello, how are y'all doing? Gonna get some space. Kick it with the salvo. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna use my oak spell to resupply. Foz gets his ammo. Kate's up there. She can do a lot of overkill bleed damage. Um, so she's just getting rid of the sires or whatever. The carrier from up close. Um, and all that fun stuff. Alright, coming up here. I'm gonna plant the nade where they will spawn when the door closes. And, and that is pretty much the hive right there. When the door is going to close, you're pretty much going to spawn. Everything that you fought uh, pretty much will spawn. Again, you have a pair of salvo scions, a bunch of sires, a bunch of shock poppers, um, some elites um, as well. You want to be careful. Again, if I, I'm glad that boom shot missed because that would that would pretty that would be an insta down right there um, with the reflective shell. Be careful. And right now we're just cleaning up whatever is coming out of this room. And that is pretty much the mist on uh, Master. Again, uh, I'm going to run... I'll have the card... Uh, class card setups in the comment section on the video goes live on YouTube. Coming up, I've got the cards and... Uh, the skill cards and the stats and all that stuff on stuff after the game. We did get a minus 80 minute time on this, um, which I believe was top five at the time, maybe top three now. Uh, those are cards that got two golds, very nice. And uh, pretty much that is the mist on master. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video.